hello guys welcome back so in today's video i'm going to do another chart breakdown commentaries video so let's get started so look at this trade right from a one hour time frame perspective you can see that price is actually really really bearish right we have this you know price keep making low low breaking structure to the downside but what make us you know uh know or think that price might be able to go up to the upside and be able to capture that longs entry right so when i look at the one hour time frame first of all I'm, i look at this level right here right you can see that buy side liquidity here have buy side liquidity here so to me this two level is really attractive if you watch my previous video i always talk about a wick high a high that has a really long wick to me these levels are really attractive to price because it has a lot of liquidity above it right so from you know now we know that from one our perspective we we can see where are the liquidity so now let's go to a smaller time frame so we can you know uh, looking for our setup right so let's go to the 15 minute time frame here so from a 15 minute perspective really you know uh just like the one hour time frame that is still our you know uh liquidity that we wanted to see price go into it so now we have to find a reason why price can go to that level we, we found a level where price or liquidity you know stay so now you have to find a reason how can price go to that level right so starting from here we can see that price kind of consolidated a little bit during the ASIN session and then you can see that price kind of create what market structure shift right so let's go to the five minute so here is our first clean market structure shift to the upside right so i'm going to have a uh, highlight as market structure shift right here i will i will note it out for you as well so you can take note we have a market structure shift created right uh which telling us that now price are bullish you know you know changing from uh consolidation kind of bearish here right up to that uh market structure shift created we kind of see the bullish coming in so that is really really strong uh market structure shift right there so i'm gonna note it out so you can uh, take note as well so right up to this market structure shift to the upside what else can we see if you look at this level here we kind of see a little more you know smaller market structure shift there I don't have to you know, note it but you can know that that is a market structure shift right so up to that market structure shift this is still in london session right so i would i didn't have any you know interest to looking for any trade just yet but then you can see that during this uh session it's starting to build liquidity right kind of like consolidating so now what i thinking was can i looking for anything to you know validate my entry i wanted to go long to you know to take out this buy side liquidity right so how can price do that when you know i started to look at at this area i can see that price kind of build liquidity right so this low right here you know this low here it it take out this liquidity but it still has liquidity below it because i'm going to show you why why in a moment we have liquidity here as well you can see oh I cannot see that okay this one right it's sell side liquidity right so we create sell side liquidity the reason I think that price still come down to the downside and take out this uh, sell side liquidity, even though it already take out this sell side liquidity, because we have a fair value gap down here, right? So for me, when it has fair value gap down here, it's still attractive. And also, if you look to the left, we still have bullish order block, right? Bullish order block, really, really uh, str clean bullish order block. So I'm gonna change color to let's say this one so we have a bullish order block right price create market structure shift have liquidity here price come to the downside and take out this uh sell side liquidity and goes into our bullish order block so to me this is really really good for our you know uh setup because we want to go long and seeing the, all this confirmation make us you know uh believe that price wanted to go higher even more right so we have a bullish order block i'm gonna note it out take note uh bullish order block right and we also have what sell side liquidity here this low i'm gonna put it right there 
sell side uh, liquidity there we go we have sell side liquidity let me just put it there All right sell side liquidity this low right here okay let's just put it this okay so we have sell side liquidity we have bullish order block we have market structure shift here we have our first initial market structure shift that kind of changed from bearish to bullish so at this point we still not finish it right we still have to go to a smaller time frame to look for more confirmation for our entry we cannot entry base of this well if you are more of aggressive trader you can't entry from this bullish order block here right but if you want more precise entry for me i wanted to look for more confirmation right so now let's go to a one minute time frame so from a f one minute time frame first thing that you can see is that price starting to reject up our fair value gap right really clean you see that all the body is close inside that fair value gap even though the weight goes below it but the body is still inside so that to me that's really really good because it's showing us that price is really respecting that level and what we you know we, we expect price to re, uh, to reject or you know showing some reaction it does show us some rejection or reaction that's really really good and then we see this market structure shift on a one minute time frame to me this is really good right we have a one minute let me uh, note it out one minute one minute market structure shift okay structure shift <coughs> up to that sorry let me, one minute market structure shift up to that i can see that price created what really clean inverted fair value gap right so to me this is another confirmation that i wanted to see in the one minute time frame which is really really good to see here inverted fair value gap right so for those who don't know what is an inverted fair value gap is a fair value gap you can see right but it price go right through it and turn it into a inverted fair value gap so that to me it's a really strong sign right it's a sign that price is now changing from bearish to bullish really really strong sign so after that what we can you know look for or what do i want to see next of course i want to see a fair value gap and as you can see here we have this really clean fair value gap there and as you can see right price go into it to the halfway point what is the halfway point the constant encroachment of that fair value gap you can see that let me zoom in a little bit more you can see that price goes into the constant encroachment of that fair value gap perfectly and then reverse to the upside really really beautiful and that's when we can enter our position right from that fair value gaps and for me i'm going to go as low as this fair value gap here you can see that it to me is the safe the, the safest level the safest level because price could still you know kind of wick back into the gap here and take you out if you put your stop you know too tight right so i put my stop at the low of this fair value gap here and that's i i feel you know uh really safe when I, I put my stop there so i'm gonna put it there and of course where is your target right so the first target of course this high right here you can see it's really really clean you know high that price it's it's logical you know for price to go and take out this buy side liquidity first and if you want to hold the trade of course you know our initial uh buy side liquidity that we spot all right on the five minute time frame or 15 minute time frame is here right this is our final entry sorry our final target that i will use to exit my all my position so that is all uh you know this trade breakdown here is really really clean even though price you know uh take a bit kind of it build up since uh the asian session right take a little bit of time there a little bit of patience but it actually a really good and really clean trade you know for this one so that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you take notes i'm still learning from the market i'm sh here to share my experience and share what i know and if you you know you're a person who been trading for many years you can share your you know knowledge share what you know in the comment section down below I will read all of them you know i always do because i just love interacting with my viewers so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next
straight breakdown video. Thank you.